Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Samsung kills VR 360, Apple pumps in 100 million US dollars. What's going on? Let's go. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. The cool cat Nati posted on his official Facebook page an article written by Road to VR how Samsung are killing off entirely as if it never even existed any VR 360 content and apps from all platforms, including, including its website. Diving back through time to 2015, which was then the best of VR could offer, which was of course the Samsung Gear VR headset, which was really called a virtual reality headset. But of course, to today's standards, it really wasn't because you had to use the Samsung mobile phone, clip it to the headset, which was by the way, developed with Oculus. And that was what was the best of, of its day before the Oculus Go was developed and released. What the Samsung Gear VR did during its heyday is really give an indication as what type of VR apps would be popular today and in the future. For example, mental health, like yoga, meditation, those kind of VR experiences, as well as entertainment, gaming, and of course, VR360 content. VR360, which is compound annual growth rate, is poised to grow by 30% to 1.6 billion US dollars between 20 to 2024. At the beginning, the industry really wasn't sure if VR360 would be something to be taken seriously or purely just a gimmick. Only three years ago, back in 2017, as a content producer, when I was commissioned to go to the Mercedes-Benz Beijing Fashion Week to produce mini backstage behind the scenes documentaries using VR360, the technology really wasn't taken that seriously and we really weren't sure how it was going to be distributed. I mean, back then I used this camera, which was the LG 360, and the only way to get a really decent resolution was to stack up tons of GoPros together and form this little ball. Let's not mention the fact that the software and the apps that were provided to us back then were just not user friendly, so it made it really hard to produce any good content. And also if you wanted to transfer the files to an editing platform like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, it would just take so long to make any changes unless you had the best of the best computer, which was so much more expensive than today. It just basically rendered the final output in possible to make. Fast forward a few years, the technology has really progressed in so many different ways. First of all, there's so many more cameras that you can now purchase for under 700 bucks, which are 5.7K, providing a decent enough quality so that when you put the VR headset on, you actually will feel pretty immersed. You, I mean, it can be pretty awesome. And also the fact that it's now much easier to edit on a mobile phone. The apps have been superbly developed, so they're much more user friendly. And also if you transfer the files to a computer, it's much more manageable now to edit the content. So it's a great shame when you hear about a technology giant like Samsung, who have been backing this industry and in really helping to develop the technologies and getting more and more content creators to get into VR 360, suddenly pull out completely. Alongside YouTube VR, which is probably the best platform today to upload any VR 360 content because the compression and technology that they use is so good compared to anything else that's available today. When you upload your VR 360 content to their platform, you'll be able to view it in the best clarity. However, Samsung is more than purely a distribution channel. It is a lifestyle. It is a company that promotes creativity and content creators to create. So after all these years of backing this industry and providing platforms for them to cross promote people's content creations in VR 360 through all types of different devices to suddenly pull out really sends a very strong signal as to how things were really doing for them. Is it because the revenue stream generated by VR360 content simply wasn't providing the leads and the sales that they needed for all their devices across the board? Or perhaps they just want to pour all the resources away from VR360, thinking that VR360 is also the past. It is not the way to the future. Let's not forget that during CES 2020, they unveiled the really cool augmented reality glasses, where they gave a really nice demo with a trainer on stage that was giving some training exercise 
apologizes to the person that was wearing the glasses. What strikes a little odd is the fact that they did send out a patent for a potential VR headset that they're developing and perhaps going to be releasing in the next few years alongside perhaps the Oculus 2 to compete with Oculus. Whether Samsung decide to move forward in the AR or VR or both industries, whatever is going to determine their success or failure, of course, content is king. What's interesting, however, is Apple and their story. Apple have reportedly invested 100 million US dollars in a company called Next VR. Next VR are considered to be the leaders in online live streaming VR 360 content. It generates more than $9 million in revenue. Backers include the Chinese company Citic Group, as well as Formation 8, RSE Ventures, and Time Warner Investments. Now, there are a few factors as to why this acquisition makes things interesting and gives us perhaps a little glimpse as to what things may be. Although Apple have announced that they will be releasing an AR headset by 2022, they actually notified their staff that the headset wouldn't purely be AR, but it will also have VR capability. So does this mean that they're going to release a new headset that potentially could compete with the Oculus Quest 2, which is supposedly coming out in 2021, 2022. And by the way, did you know that Apple's solution to making their future headset super slim and light is to use the next generation of iPhone as the CPU base, which will process all the data and then just transfer the image back to the headset. So the headset will effectively be just a display. This is gonna make things very interesting in the world of VR. Whichever the outcome, it seems pretty clear that Apple are heavily invested in the next generation of AR and VR. I don't know, what do you think? Leave a comment below. I'd love to know your opinion on this subject matter. Guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. And also thanks to all those who went to watch and view all the previous videos and comment on those videos. You guys are all awesome. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, high five to you, take it easy, and as always, DJ, take it away.